Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a pixel art using Google Spreadsheet. All right. So here I am in Google Sheets. This is a program for processing numbers, but we can use the grid over here to create artwork as well. So let's uh, take a look. By default, our cells are rectangles. For pixel art, we need a perfect squares. So let's reshape them a bit. How can we do that? If you click over here, kind of in between first row and the column A, this empty area, if you click on that, you will select everything. And now I can simply make a column a bit smaller like that. And in the same time, I will make the row higher. All right, so we are aiming here into a rectangle like this. And from now on, we can start with the pixel art. So I can select multiple cells and treat them like a pixel. So I can recolor them using this bucket fill bucket tool. And now we can simply add, let's say a black color here. All right, and this way we can quickly create some form of pixel art. Keep in mind, you can also select cells that are not like directly next to each other. So if you hold command or control on your keyboard, you can select cells that are not next to each other. Of course, you can go one by one if you like. That's not a problem as well. Take a look. I select cells one by one and then I fill them with color. All right, so let's continue down here. And in a moment, I will also show you how you can expand your working area. So sometimes while we are working on our little pixel art, we find out that this paper size, the working area is not big enough. What in that case? All right, so take a look. I need more space here at the top. So what can I do? Let's select multiple rows all right so i select row number one by clicking on this one at front and now holding shift i will select let's say 10 rows like that all right right click on them and there's option here i can insert 10 more rows above or below this area let's go for above and this way i extend my working area here above this and I can continue from here in this new space. So that's really handy. So keep in mind, you can always add more cells or remove cells. That's not a problem at all. Okay, let's keep going. All right, as you may notice, I only using the outline, so that's the top and now I will remove unnecessary cells. So same thing, selecting rows, right click and I can delete them. Nice. Okay. All right. Something is not right here. I make a mistake. So how can I turn those cells back to a white color? That's very simple. We don't need to search for any eraser tool. We can just go for the fill color and we can reset them. And ta-da, we are back to normal, you could say. Okay, so that's how we can fill them with colors. And in any given moment, we can also reset them as well. All right. Let's continue with the image. So after the outline is ready, we will be able to fill it with colors in the very, very same way. So simply select the area and then use this little bucket to fill the area with colors. Let's try. So I close this area and now I select here. Holding command or control, you can select those cells as well. And then you can fill it all one time with the color. 
what if the color is not here you need something custom let's click this custom option let's click the plus add custom color and from here we will be able to create a brand new color just for your project all right so this is my custom color okay and now next fit over here so i will use the black color first and what if i need to use this custom color thing once more but i need exactly same color huh take a look when i click here colors i can see in the custom area there is this color that we create already all right so we can reuse that but in case you cannot see it, there's also pick a custom color thing where i can pick from existing colors in my artwork and this way you can reuse this very very same color all right let's continue let's continue this time i will pick the color that was already here all right by holding command or control you can select multiple cells same time as i mentioned before they will highlight with the blue color that's how you know that selection is correct all right that's the wrong color that's the correct one okay i use the wrong color here all right how about here let's go with this custom color again it's here i can still see it so that's nice and of course after you got the basics i recommend to do some shading so let's go with this custom color but once more we will create a bit darker version of it huh let's try that and thanks to that we can get more that here we can create use this darker version over here to indicate some shadows all right and we can do exactly the same thing with this yellow color so we can do some highlights we can draw some lights and shadows all right so we can use the brighter version of the color and of course we can also go for the darker version of the color as well over here and then simply select the darker version of the color this way your picture will be not that flat all right let's add one more element around this area a little wing okay almost done all right if you cannot see the whole picture like me right now you can click here and remove the zoom reduce the zoom so reduce the zoom from 100 to let's say 90 or maybe 75 this way you can see the whole thing we already draw the picture so i don't need the grid anymore so let's click view show and switch off the grid lines better all right let's get rid of the empty area around our drawing as well you know this method already select right click delete and from the bottom they always give us so many rows so i will use a trick here i will click shift command arrow down this way i can select everything down to this row number as you can see 1005 right click delete all right let's add extra row on the left right click insert on the left and here is a black color i don't need that reset and ta -da, that's my pixel art how can we save that now we can head to file and explore some export options right so let's experiment here with download i can download this as excel file but in my case that's more like the art not numbers or columns charts so i will just download this as a pdf 
as you can see, now he split my nice pixel art into two pages. So I will scale it down to fit the page and this will be portrait. And this way I will export my art as a PDF. So people without Google Sheets can open this on any device. Click export and take a look. As you can see, my web browser already download this PDF file. So it's on my system. All right. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.